often talk about how the science of meteorology has advanced over the years, but keep in mind the snow that we've got tonight. Now we weren't putting numbers on it until about 24 hours ago, but we started talking about the potential for this a week ago and it came to pass and pretty much as well behaved as we were thinking a little bit more in some of the higher numbers that came in out of the east. We got a little bit of a burst, but for a lot of us, pretty much exactly what was forecast. Now you're looking here in Letcher County on Pine Mountain, US 119 and 23. That is a snow covered road and you can see I mean obviously one of the main roads going through there, but there is still a lot of snow, a lot of ice on it. So travel in eastern Kentucky is going to be really iffy tonight and probably into tomorrow morning, even on the main roads and you get off onto the secondaries and you may want to think about travel plans again. This is looking from the Lexington Financial Center. You're looking at Oliver Lewis Way and Main Street here and traffic is moving along. OK, but you look down on the roads and you can see the snow is into the turn lanes. So again, be aware of that and once you get off the main roads, even in Lexington, it gets dicey in a hurry. Travelers advisory for the bluegrass area going out the I-64 corridor and then down toward Lake Cumberland. Winter storm warnings where we had a lot of snow come down and we'll look at those snowfall numbers in just a sec. But the big snow shield, this is from five o'clock. This was good steady snow for most of it. It made steady progress eastward and then once that main batch moved out, you see these bursts of snow coming through and we had one of those come by my house starting about 830 to about 915. So snowflakes were big. Most of those snowflakes were relatively small. These were big flakes that came in and we put down another half inch in about 45 minutes uh, on top of what had fallen. So some parts of Lexington a little bit more than others. So for Christmas Eve, Santa has brought his own North Pole weather. We brought the snow and now we're bringing the cold. For Christmas Day it could be one of our coldest. In fact, it will be one of our coldest with some lingering snow showers around, especially early in the day and in the eight day New Year's week looks to stay pretty busy. So driving problems, the heaviest and the steadiest of the snow has been winding down. Snow showers though will continue and can add small accumulations and slicken up roads that may have otherwise been just recently cleared. Most of the area has roads that are snow covered and slick, so do be aware of that. Bridges are going to be particularly nasty. Heavy snow accumulations in the east likely to cause significant travel impacts, not only for the balance of tonight, but into part of the day tomorrow. So when was the last time we had something like this? The white Christmases since 1900. We've had a trace or more 33 times that today being the 33rd on Christmas Eve. The last time we had a trace was in 2017. We had it again in 2013. 2010, we actually had accumulating snow 1.2 inches for Christmas Day for snow on the ground and there will be snow on the ground. This is not going to melt. So in 2010 we had two inches on the ground. That was the last time it happened. 2002 we had a trace. 1999 we had an inch on the ground on Christmas Day. So the snowfall tonight. Jackson, Salyersville, Campton, West Liberty, Golden Snow Shovel Award, seven inches. Barberville six, Hazard a half foot, Moorhead five, Clay City, it were in uh, Powell County, four, Richmond had a couple, Georgetown had one from Ron Malinowski, Lexington, it's going to come in officially right around one inch. I had two inches at my house, but that was with that half inch snowburst that came in during the middle of the evening. Now the cold. We're talking overnight lows around the bluegrass in the low teens. Uh, you've got 12 Lexington and Georgetown, 13 Versailles and Lancaster. You look to the southeast, same idea, 11 in Liberty, 13 in Somerset, 13 in Williamsburg. Into the southeast where the snowfall has been heaviest, Hyden 13, Jackson 13, Beattyville 13. Finally up to the east, we look about temperatures are near a dozen just about everywhere. Top 10 cold Christmases. If we get to our 23 forecast, that puts us tied for eighth place with 1999. And the wind. I mean, we're talking wind chills tomorrow morning, low single digits, and it stays there through the day. We could even be flirting with zero at points. So there was the big snow shield. Again, you see the snow showers coming in behind. So the big part of the storm is over. Now it's to the nuisance part, but boy, there is a lot of snow on the ground in places. So the future track shows that area of low pressure headed off to the east and away. As it does so, it brings the cold air in behind. We'll eventually see the clouds start to clear out as we go through the day tomorrow. So your Christmas Eve, winter storm warnings and travelers advisories. The snow's tapering off down to about 12, but wind chills down around zero in the morning. Partly to mostly cloudy, a few snow showers around a high in the low 20s. Your eight day goes this way. Saturday, sunshine, mid to upper 30s, upper 40s on Sunday, rain on Monday. Could snow again by New Year's Eve. 